Season's greetings, and we welcome everybody who is watching here on a pre-recorded screen pre-recorded stream to another season of UPSL SoCal South action with UPSL one-time champions 11th 12th 11th year Shiba as you catch your breath yeah coming I had back to run to my car but yeah it's good to be back here at Mission Bay High School it's not dark when we're watching a game now it's still sunny out so that's nice absolutely a wonderful Sunday afternoon at Mission Bay High School high winds blowing towards the southeast Albion SC part of the important soccer lineage here in San Diego you may have seen Albion part of the NISA league but they also have different iterations of teams this one in the UPSL but we have SD Internacional with some familiar faces I do believe that defeat, it's Kevin, Kevin, who's Kevin Stoll? Evan Stoll. Shout out Evan Stoll. Papa Stoll probably watching still from his home here on a pre-recorded stream. But here comes SD Internacional trying to move numbers forward. And SD Inter with newly appointed head coach, Matty Pal Palotok. Seen him play on this field. Now we're seeing him as, we saw him as an assistant last season. And now as the head coach, Tony. Absolutely, Matty Pal Palotok. Part of the incredible history here of SD Internacional. More than 10 years in the region. Two years ago, you found them at top of the SoCal South Premier Division of the UPSL as champions. Last year, we didn't go just as well as they faced a lot of competition. That was pretty interesting. Good little one two. Sandro here trying to get the ball. Sandro don donning a new benda on the right arm. SD Inter in the white and blue with Pachuca kits as well. As Albion in their red and blue. Just real quick, we're gonna go ahead and go over the lineup. We have goalkeeper Evan Stoll, Brent Zuniga. Capi de Capis. Capi de Capitan is here for SD Internacional, winning this the starting role, not only the starter, but the captaincy two years ago. You're gonna see him featured in any aerial ball going the direction of the SD Inter defense. So far, 50-50, here, here's a misstep. Here's an opportunity for SD Inter looking for that through ball. A little bit too long. It's going to go over to the goalkeeper for SD Inter for Albion SC. Continuing with the lineup. Cass Rubin. Neto at the left back. Chris Magagnini. Cool name there. At the right back position. Ernesto Millan at the center mid. Another center mid is Victor Salazar. Kevin Capes as center attacking mid. Luke the Juke Rayleigh. We've seen plenty of Luke the Juke in looks the like, SD Looks like Inter. with the haircut as well. New haircut, new 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 man. And you also got Andrew at right pick and right wing, and then Sandro there on the left. Remember Andrew last season had the long last name that we did not have to pronounce, and then it was pretty simple to pronounce, Tony. Yeah. Forgot his last name. Oh. Well, we have a whole season to Learn. re-up that up. As he's going to go ahead and have a ball. As we see some players from Albion SC featured before for SD Inter. Zuniga goes to ground, slide, tackles. It's going to be a foul and a free kick set piece here for Albion early in the match. Good chance here for Albion, Tony, but Evan still is a very experienced goalkeeper, and we've seen him know how to set up the wall. We've seen him know where to stand. We've seen him make some crazy saves before. He's a great shot stopper there in the highlighter green kit. 
I'm gonna see what Albion has. Tries to get through the wall. Is another opportunity, and Carl almost. Carl gets that pass. Evan stole. Still in a dangerous area. Albion unable to get the ball passed on another occasion. Here comes a chance for a counter attack. That's gonna be a foul. We're gonna try our very best to know names with numbers, but that wasn't provided. A lot else. At least we have names. travels Evan Stoll easy catching the ball with great ease a lot of friends a lot of pals happening today a couple missteps here by both teams Sandro recuperates and goes down no foul Bit of a sloppy pass a Rooney here, but good dribbling there. Good little one-two stepping inside of the box now. Este Inter looking for a chance. Sandro! Goal! It's Frances, no? Rendez-vous si. français. Oui, oui. Oui, oui. Croissant. Good job there by Sandro, who nets the first goal here at Mission Bay High School for SD Internacional. A good build up play. Looking at both sides of the pitch. Eventually, that ball traveled across and a good first time shot. Good to see Sandro on the score sheet. You can see him on the starting spot as well. And not on the book so early. Now let's just see if he managed to learn how to keep a cool head with the referees. Still a lot of game left. Onside, Evan Stoll comes out and kicks that outside. It's going to be a throw in for Albion. Good communication there by Brent Zuniga. As we have someone trying to recruit Tony for the OG as the Internacional team. We have Surdo in the booth trying to recruit the great Tony Sanchez into their Sunday League team. Great chance here for Albion. Good rebound. Good defensive stand there for SD Internacional. Two opportunities there, but no, my days of playing are absolutely over. That's not what I heard. I heard you're playing on April 8th at Pachanga Arena. April 8th, Pachanga Arena. San Diego Soccer's halftime game, media game, is going to be the first... <laughs> it's going to be the first of games in the playoff series between San Diego Soccers and the Dallas Outlaws for West Coast Supremacy in the MASL Indoor League. Check it out. Twitch.com slash Tony on the mic. Yep, I'll be on the call. That cross goes all the way over into the 8 freeway. Throw in SD Inter. That's the Inter trying to unlock this Albion defense. That's going to be a foul there. Slide in the ankles. It looked a little painful. Yeah. 
Good little one-two from Albion. Sandro on the defensive front. Very good. Chris passing in a short space there by Esti Inter. Now continuing the run here on the left-hand side. Very well figured out there by the defender for Albion. See many different iterations of ST Internacional. Some defensively minded, some offensively minded, some crisp passing, possession base. We've seen it all. Counter attacking as well. We'll see what this season under Matt Pal Palatok has in store for us. Brent Zuniga there, one reading thing, the pass. One thing for sure, Tony, it's always hard to beat Brent Zuniga in the back line. Yeah, absolutely, but this was a mistake here by SD Inter in the back. Giving an opportunity, gifting an opportunity. And here's an opportunity now. Third time I say opportunity in a sentence. Chris there from Albion trying to get the ball through. But Evan is able to catch that and nestle it. Hey, Jiba, how do you say uh, that chocolate brand, Crunch, in Spanish? It's Nestle. How do you say that in English? I'm, I'm just asking. Nesto? Nestle? Yeah, in English. No sé, güey, por qué. No, I'm just asking. Just, just wondering. You know, it was because that was a point of conversation on the way here. Just excited for another uh, season of San Diego Internacional UPSL SoCal South Premier Division action. Of whether it's uh, Nestle or Nestle. That argument was uh, stopped because we had to help you and rescue you with... Uh, a tire change. How was that? It was nice. I learned how to change a tire today. Thank you, Tony, Papa Tony, and Mama Tony. <laughs> Season's greetings. Papa. <laughs> you know, you mentioned the crunch bars, but the Albion uniforms look a little bit like that. Yeah, they do. And you know what? Pachuca representing with ST Inter. True. This is what, our sixth season with SD Inter? Gonzalez. Fifth season, Gonzalez. Who's counting? Who's counting? Not me. We got to witness one championship. And this Maybe can be another the, one. This can be the beginning of a second championship run here. But SD Inter will have to face a couple of new teams. That's Inland Empire FC next week. Ocelot, Los Angeles. Looking over at our research department right now, who just gave us a big shrug as far as... It is a so they're part of SoCal, right? Absolutely. Here's a good, good through ball. An opportunity had... They had an opportunity to look up. They would have seen that there was no goalkeeper there. Just possessed a shot from far away. That's going to be a gold kick. Some other teams featured is going to be week four, excuse me, week five. It's East Lake Soccer League, current reigning defending champion. That should be a good game. City of C San Diego Temecula, who are rumored to have some sort of partnership with the incoming MLS2 team. Got the Murrietas, Rebels SC, Escondido, and FC Balboa. Some new players. New teams, same great SoCal action. FC Balboa, that's a pretty cool name. Balboa FC. As we look into a rather cold, windy Sunday afternoon, a pack house could not fit, fit another soul into these bleachers. I was just a little disappointed not to be able to see uh, that great support that was promised for the UPSL side of Albion by the now defunct Nisa League supporter groups. Maybe for their home games? Perhaps. Shout out to them. Keeping it alive. 
up in Canyon Crest Academy back in the day. Well done, chested that down a little one, two, trying to run through a wall of legs, impossible there. Right now, SC Inter has this game controlled at their pace. But one thing I have seen from Albion is that they do have explosivity and an opportunity to counterattack. Can be an opportunity for them to wait for a mistake from SD Inter to try and pounce on it just like they have it there. And here's an opportunity. Two against three, but that speed is lightning quick. Brent Zuniga putting his leg there, dispossessing, going to ground again. That's gonna be a corner for Albion SC. As we welcome you back in into the booth, it's going to be a SD Inter ball as they'll restart this game here. <laughs> SD Inter now, once again, triangulating, trying to move forward with some momentum. They get stopped right at midfield. And it's going to be up to Maddie, right, to just talk to the team at halftime. Those little mistakes in the back can end up costing you the game in the future, but so far the back line is still pretty solid with Brent Zuniga and Kaz back there. And the communication with them and Stowe and his center backs have been pretty excellent so far. We're almost 20 minutes into this first half, and I would say SD Inter is dominating this game. Possession can go 50-50, but that one play from Alessandro makes a difference. Alessandro, il francés, prends le vous français. Is that the only thing you know in French? On le du fromage, comment allez-vous? Uh, <laughs> that's it. <laughs> that, that's about it. <laughs> Back with the action here. And we'll see if Albion can construct something out the back. They've been able to look dangerous when jumping on a chance here. Here's a long through ball. Trying to create some chaos there. Zuniga with a weak pass. Carl recuperating that. Good anticipation there. Here comes a chance. Running down. Moving the ball well. Switching sides now. Need to get the, rid of the ball a little bit earlier. From downtown, that ball goes up through the upright. It's going to be a three points in the American football side of things, but a zero in the soccer variety. 1-0, SC Internacional, Albion, SC, zero.
This first half is brought to you in part by Smog Express. You want the best? Get Smog Express. But in Pacific Beach, make sure your vehicle is ready to go for the DMV. So what they? That sounded painful. And if there is something that needs to, needs fixing, you can always hit up PB European Imports. Also in Pacific Beach. Check out PB European Imports. Do you have a vehicle that's a European? Do you have a vehicle that's an import? Do you have a vehicle with wheels? You can probably get hooked up at PB European Imports. Say hi to Coach Alex. PB European Imports and Smog Express. Here's a good through ball. Flag stays down. Here comes an opportunity. He gets shoved in the back. It's going to be a goal. Goal. Dos a cero. Luke the Juke with the finish. I believe the long ball was from Castrubian, if I'm not mistaken. What a ball. What a run. What a finish. 2 nothing San Diego Inter. Absolutely doing very well there. Managing the pressure from the back. Still getting pushed, but able to get that ball up and over the goalkeeper. Good finish there. 2-0, to zero, SD Inter. Internacional. A player we don't have right now in this game is Cass's brother, Caleb. Not sure if he's coming back this season. Sources are saying that he should be back soon. There's a good opportunity there, but almost as the Internacional putting the foot on the gas right now. in the action here very windy day there seems some weather in San Diego here comes an opportunity now right down the left wing looking for Luke in the middle still a chance Albion clears that ball Still a SC Inter ball. Number five there. Number five there. Number five on the left back right there. It's going to be Neto. Full name, Giselio Gilima Neto. O Brasileiro. Brasileiro. Evan Stoll Zuniga. With a Mira Me Fuerzas headband. As the Inter needs to be careful, not get too comfortable. He's asking in the 2 0, right, Tony? Um, El resultado más engañoso. Yes. Carl trying to take it to his former team. You know, I played with Carl at Southwestern College, and uh, he never scored on me once. And um, Neither has Landon Donovan. Neither has Landon Donovan. Neither has Shannon McMillan. And it's going to stay that way. Neither has me. I'm in good company on my neither list. Neither have you. <laughs> neither has me. Yeah. yeah. Internacional. This game is brought to you in part by San Diego Punta Football. That's right, San Diego Football. That is the website where you can find everything San Diego soccer related from the MLS, NWSL, 
I want to say UPSL. Articles written by our very own Abe Cepeda. Abraham Cepeda, up and coming number one writer, soccer correspondent in the city of San Diego. Shout out to them. There's a mistake here in the box. Very well identified. He's comes a shot powerful. Brent Zuniga able to get in front of that. I don't think he meant to get in front of that. It just kind of happened to be there. That's going to be a foul tug on the back. That last thing we were talking about earlier with Andrew K. Vanu Van Hoven. Vanu Van Hoven. If that's, his, if that's incorrect, Andrew, let us know. Here comes Esti Inter driving forward. Here comes a shot. It's going to be a goal. Just called it up. Andrew K. Van Uvenhoven with a long shot from outside of the box taking that opportunity. I don't know if that had a deflection or anything. He slipped past the goalkeeper, but man, what a mistake for the goalkeeper. Yeah, that was a shot that went and dipped a little bit. Bounced right before. It's tricky trying to see, be, uh, see through so many bodies. But either way, that's something you got to get in front of. It's 3-0. That's the Internacional here in the first half. Potentially contender for goal of the week on everybody's favorite show on a Monday. Two balls at a mic every Monday at 8 p.m. on YouTube. Goal or gaff as well. Oh, I already know what the gaff is. It has to do with uh, Snapdragon security. Amazing. Absolutely sad. Very sad. Here comes the turn. Good opportunity here. Looks like Esti Inter is very, doing very well recovering that ball there in the midfield. Yeah, I'm trying to understand what Maddie's tactics are here, Tony, but I don't know if you managed to get a grasp of what he does. He's not really playing the counterattack, but they're able to. Uh, I think he's going for a more possession base, but his two goals have come. Second one from a long ball, and the, second, the first one was of a nice made play, took a deflection, and Alessandro managed to finish that. Still a lot of game left. As That's we're approaching the... 30th minute. 30th minute of action here in the first half. It's going to be a foul ball for Inter. Sweatpants are coming on for some of the players on the bench. It is getting frigid. It's getting windy. As we see... A couple of Albion players already warming up. Probably going to be coming on here soon. Good through ball. Good opportunity. Now it's going to be a foot race here on the right-hand side. The right wing is going to be challenging. Cass back to Zuniga not the best with his left foot but still figured it out that ball's going to travel outside it's going to be a throw in for Albion SC we thank everybody who's watching here on this pre-recorded stream that's going to be on Santiago Punto Football should probably put something out saying that it's technically difficult to get a live stream out today but here's an opportunity for Albion a little scoop it's hard when it's windy but you know what they say having fun isn't hard when you've got a library card they do say that oh 
going to hard to be with the live stream against Mexico versus the USA in the Nations League final. But see, this is something that matters here. UPSL 100%. action is something that's actually going to be part of the statistics at the end of the day. A made-up trophy and a made-up tournament by uh, whoever wins it all in the UPSL gets to go to the U.S. Open Cup. U.S. Open Cup, the most prestigious tournament in U.S. soccer, the oldest tournament in the world. San Diego Stone, CJ Fodry just knocked out with Austin 2. Hate to see it, but here you love to see SC Inter with another opportunity on the right hand side. It's going to be cross inside. Goal. That's four. And that's the connection between Andrew on the right wing and Luke DeJuke finishing. That's two on him on the half. Go and assist for Andrew. What a first half for San Diego Inter. What a first half for coach Matty Pal Palatok's debut. Absolutely, getting those claps in, looking back at his bench, making sure that everybody's taken care of. Smiles all around for right now. But again, there's no time to let the foot off the gas. Inter up 4-0. As you still hear Captain Brent Zuniga, center back, barking orders. He's got that dog in him. He is Himothy. I got nothing. Que, que paliza, eh? Que paliza. For nothing. SD Inter looking good. Still 35 minutes in. SD Inter is looking very good so far. It'll be interesting to see when they face tougher opponents like East Lake Soccer League and other potential stronger teams that come up. As Albion gets out of a very tricky situation there in the back, keeping the ball at their feet. Very well done. Here comes a through ball. Two people on the right-hand side. Rubin trying to slide that slide tackle that ball out for a throw-in. Aquí viene la gambeta. The cross into the hands of the waiting Evan Stoll. That's a net positive there for Albion. Neto. Sandro. Ernie in the middle. Looking for a through ball. That through ball is going to be a little bit too long. Very well positioned there. The goalkeeper for Albion. Brent Zuni got miscommunication in the midfield. A little shove in the back. Foul against Albion. And we're going to have our first two substitutions of the match, courtesy of Albion. Number 23 is coming on Andrew Carlton. Here comes the chance in the box. Recuperates it, saves it. Flag does go up. It's an offside call. Albion here continuing to fight. Sandro putting that foot in. It's going to be a ball for SD Inter. Doing very well putting on that pressure. Not letting up. Here comes a chance. It's going to get kicked up and over. Aguas. Did you see the Albion substitutes warm up at all? Yes. Okay. Yes, they did. Interesting. That's going to be a foul call. It's going to be a free kick. And a yellow card. First yellow card of the match. It 
tackle from behind. Always going to be a yellow card there. I want to give the space to USA versus Mexico here. Nations League Cup Final. 0-0, zero, zero, 18th minute. Mexico with the black kits. Call those the uh, Arsenal ripoffs. Here comes another chance inside of the box. And it's only fair that we keep tabs on this Mexico game as we are watching San Memo Ochoa, possible new goalkeeper for San Diego FC. Breaking news. Sources dropped in by San Diego Football. San Diego Punto Football. In comes Neto. Neto with that left, finding Sandro a little bit too hard. Ooh, Going This was in. a late tackle by Sandro. Going in with a slide tackle, unnecessary. No need for that, especially when you're up 4-0. No need for that There's, at all. I think there was a chance he saved himself from a red card there, Tony. The tackle was very hard. Player seems to be okay. Trying to get the ball. Nah, no... Ill intent. There you go. That's the term. fair play. Del Frances. You know how I say fair play in French? Jugar futbolera. Spanish. Yeah. Fair play. Ho -ho. Oh, very close. Interception by Luke. It does look like they've taken a step back as the Inter waiting for Albion to commit to the offensive side of the ball, potentially try to counterattack. Inter has been done has been doing very well on that counterattacking front. A little sombrerito here. <laughs> Albion continuing to fight Sandra with the pressure. This ball gets clear by the goalkeeper for Albion looking for some help. Andrew Carlton putting that pressure up. Rallying for some momentum. Chiba, have you been taking out your INE? It is election year here in Mexico. Here comes a good opportunity on the right-hand side, putting on the speed, the burners, but even better. A tackle. Slide tackle from behind. All ball. Danger continues. This is going to travel into the hands of the goalkeeper for SC Albion, but a fantastic slide tackle on this surface. Does not tickle. Tell you that much. Kevin doing very well there as well. We're down to the last five minutes of this first half, plus whatever the referee decides to add, Tony. And so far, it has been a very dominant match by San Diego Inter. Internacional. Ya me ya.
Ross inside. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy for the goalkeeper for Albion SC. Interesting tactic of just dropping the ball. Here you go. Inter maintaining that shape. Sandro with more pressure. Gets disposed of pretty early. One of the patadura aquí. No foul, very well done there. Three Albion, three SC. Three SC Inter players, they're like hyenas. Albion crossing. Here comes a good opportunity inside of the box. Carl trying to turn. Carl turns. Evan Stahl with the hands. Up and over. It's going to be a corner kick for Albion SC. The best opportunity that they've had so far this first half. So windy right here. You see the ball just not standing still. The flag is going crazy. Winds on the southwest. This ball travels up and over. Here comes a chance. Carl to the head. It's going to be a goal kick for SD Internacional. For those that are wondering, Mexico USA 0-0. 24th minute. Tell us how Asking for time, Sandro. Neto, Sandro. And if you're Albion, you're trying to figure out what to change here in the second half to create more of those chances that we've seen so far. Sandro here. No foul called. Evan stole, blasting it out, turning into a through ball almost, but the goalkeeper for Albion is well positioned there. Outside of his box, clears it out. It's going to be a throw in. I love the type of leader that Brent is. Up for nothing, still telling them don't lose focus. A lot of game left. Something you believe in, right, Tony? If one team can score four in the first half, the other team can score how many in the second half? Probably five. Or at least four. <laughs> Probably five. There's a chance here. Flag's going to go up. It's going to be an offside. Tomo's no cuenta. That ball traveled outside. We're already past the 45th minute. One minute being at it. About 30 seconds left. This is probably going to take us down over into halftime. A little back heel there. 
showing some flair, showing some spirit, so and showing some fight. Carl. This would be another opportunity. Might be the final chance here in the first half. And it's going to be a corner kick. I think this should be the last play before we head into halftime now. Absolutely. Referee decided to add over four minutes, apparently. Corner kick, low. Carl almost makes contact. Referee hasn't looked at his watch. Doesn't seem to care. Maybe forgot his watch. He's going to let this one roll. Counter-attacking opportunity for SD Internacional. Triangulation. Goalkeeper tries to come out. It's going to be a chip, but that's going to be an offside. No, says the referee. Here comes another chance. What a stop. Returning all the way back. Fantastic hustle by Albion SC's goalkeeper. And with that, it's going to be the halftime mark. It's SC Internacional 4, Albion 0. We'll be back with the second half action. As we greet the seasonings here for the second half action, it's going to be a 4-0 scoreline. Some substitutions have been coming in for SC Internacional. Andrew came out. In going number 17. Let's go enter indeed. 4-0 here at Mission Bay High School. Second half action. Albion SC, the visiting team in red and blue. SC Inter in the white and blue. The Pachuca. Currently still 0-0 in the CONCACAF Nations Cup final. That shot's going to go. Oh, my God. What a goal. Oh, no. Oh, no. No, 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 goal. Oh, man. Oh, boy. Oh. It was an absolute screamer. Neta. It was, oh, my gosh. Goal of the week? Unfortunately so. That's going to be a 1-0 USA. Ouch. Thank you for those who are joining us here on Sandego Punto Football's YouTube channel for this replay of UPSL SoCal South Premier Division action. As Albion is going to try to muster some courage here. Oh, que golazo nos metieron. Oh, Brent Zuni got there with a great diving header to clear that ball out. Ay, el gran San Memo Ochoa no pudo atajar eso. El gran portero de San Diego FC. That's going to end the first half in that game. But the second half continues here in Mission Bay High School as the dark clouds start to circle San Diego for potentially more rain and wind. We're going to see if that's going to affect the action here. Good pass here, good idea. It's gonna go on the right hand side. Very well dispossessed, but that's gonna what be a, a better stop. Was. What a move. That was a great move. Yeah. Ball's gonna travel out, it's gonna be a goal kick. Ay, la selección mexicana. But it's okay, because we got UPSL action here. San Diego Internacional will be the yeah, away team next week as they face La Máquina FC. Followed by a home game here. April 7th, where you're going to run solo, Chiva. Solo dolo. Partnered with Alex or Barbie, one of them two joining me on the commentary. <laughs> A 
That's going to be a foul here. Carl getting into the action there. Number 19. Sandro. Into the middle. Back to Zuniga. Going to ground into trouble there, trying to clear the ball from the defensive side. Albion, fancy footwork there, able to maneuver out of it. So what they? Good ball here on the right side, utilizing the right flank. Been successful this game. It's going to be a shot. Good stop by the goalkeeper for Albion SC. Just as a thing like No need to color correct here. There's a uh, different views with the incoming clouds. Carl adding that pressure there for Albion. Ball headed out. And this can be an opportunity for Albion to get on the score sheet. Flag stays down, no foul. Looks <laughs> like Andrew Carlton wanted a foul there. Carlton. Good read on the left back here. Here comes Carl in between two people, unable to get that ball. Great skill by Matt Palpalatuck. Class never ends. He's such a youngling. A good experience there by Coach Pal Palatok. Good give and go. There's a give. No go, but here's a shot outside of the box. Brent. Getting in front of that one, formerly known, the artist formerly known as Curtis. And we're gonna have a substitution here. Looks like it's Sandro coming off. Sandro's gonna be coming off. At the beginning of the game, we had uh, Saddam, we had Fernando Guzman, Oliver Bandrup, Cyrus, Pedro Godomar, Pego, Matt Mitchell, Sage Bolaris, Mateo, and then Austin as a goalkeeper. No relation to Austin Guerrero, probably. Paolo showing some great pressure here for Albion. And so far, they've shown some fight here. And that's exactly what you need to see from Albion, but you need to get one in soon. 
if you want to have any chance into even tying this match. Absolutely. And again, it's being a matter for SC, SC International to also put the pressure on when, need, when needing to. We've seen score or goal differential be incredibly important in this league. And here's an opportunity. That ball is going to travel out. It's going to be a corner kick for Este Internacional. One day these players look up to the heavens and hope that their game could be good enough to land a CBS Sports desk job like Clint Dempsey himself. Corner. What a great catch there by the goalkeeper for Albion SC. Not the safest hands, but he got it. And looking to l drop that pin at half field. It was a good. It was a great idea there. Looking for the counter attack. Tony, parece que va a llover. Hopefully not. El cielo se está nublando. Yeah, I hope so. Not. Good dispossession there. Good back heel. Moving the ball in transition, keeping it with that. That's going to be a foul. Did look like the defender for Albion got the ball first, but the referee was close enough to warrant that. You have Captain Brand asking his teammates to slow down. Control the pace of the game. You're up for nothing. Controlling that pace, controlling that time. But it would still be good for SD Inter to get on the score sheet here in the second half. Couple slap chest slaps there, but it's gonna be a foul against SD Inter. Ball travels here in the midfield, bouncing up and down. Both teams have had a couple of opportunities here. This ball almost intercepted, but the goalkeeper does very well to clear that with some speed. Juni asking, can we keep the ball? Can we keep it? Just keep the ball. Coach Matty yells at his team, at his players as well. There goes Rubin. Moving the ball up. A lot of bodies for Albion in that area. It was dispossessed. This can be a chance for a counter-attacking look. Carl, with that speed that was left at Southwestern College, forgot to bring it today. As we will have another substitution here for Albion. Hace frío, Tony. Mm -hmm. It's 
throw in. Puts the ball back into action, back into play. Good step over here. Close quarters, an opportunity, and that's going to travel back to Evan Stoll. He's just going to calmly pick that ball up and wait for some movement. Didn't wait too long. Could have been an opportunity there to construct in a dangerous area. Stoll clearing the ball. Inter haven't really been able to maintain possession of the ball here in the second half. Albion does look like the better team, but there are a couple chances there that need to be concrete. You can definitely tell it's the first game of the season for both of these teams. Absolutely. I think for SD Inter, you can kind of see that there are a lot more returning players, and it seems like for Albion, there's a lot of new players in the team joining, and they're still trying to get to know each other a little bit, where the SD Inter players already know their style, already know their culture. <coughs> Chemistry is much better for SD Inter. Foul here for Albion to take advantage of in the Inter side of things. <laughs> Well, travels inside of the box. No one there to receive it. It's going to travel out. It's going to be a corner kick, it seems. No, it's not. As La Banderita also takes a tumble. Capacity crowd at Mission Bay High School. There's a mistake here. Made up for it. Made up for it, but it's still a chance given, a gift. As we see the immaculate coach Alex making his way over to the bench area. It's an elegant walk. That ball's going to travel into Evan's hands. Take a dip, take a dive, take a plane, take a train, take a car. Or March of the Penguin. Here comes Andrew on the right-hand side. Number 17. Unable to move past... The a much better planted defensive line here. Here comes Neto. On the left hand side. That gets Kicks right underneath. Good skill here and a better stop. It's a good second half by the goalkeeper for Albion. Wish we were provided with names and numbers. And give them the proper credit that's due. As we are going to have an injury here. Looks like a potential cramp. It's going to be part of the eight minutes that the referee is going to add up and to make up. Happened at the NWSO match between Sandy Wave and Casey Current. Ten minutes being added at the end of the game. Snapdragon Stadium, also home of the ST Legion rugby team as we have a rugby player getting warmed up for ST Inter. Coming on this way. And 
a bit here. We'll have two more substitutions. Could it be, Tony? Are we seeing a return on the field of Pedrito Bolomar? It's Colombia, no? Peruano? Peruano, creo? Paraguayo? No. Paraguayo. Peruano. Peruano. We know that. I know he's going to watch it back, fellow. Oh, he just said the good old. Put me in, coach. Casi gol olímpico. Good attempt there. Closing down spaces. Here comes a shot from outside of the box. Going to travel out. It's going to be a goal kick. SC Internacional. Four. Albion SC. Zero. 20 minutes into the second half, Tony. And it's looking like it's leaving. It's going away f for a chance for Albion to return to this match. Those chances are evaporating. Mexico and USA starting the second half on their respective ends. I bet all those fans wish they were here at Mission Bay High School to witness SC Internacional's greatness. Just like here, Andrew controlling the ball on the right-hand side, looking for some help by his friends. Takes it over to his right, but unable to get that ball across the middle. Good clearing ball through the through the floor. Here comes an opportunity putting those burners on. Brent Zuniga trying to come on down. Using that strength all ball. Caught up. And the burners on. Speed is his middle name. Brent Speed. We have a corner kick here. Throwing. Zuniga. Throwing for Albion. A corner throwing. <laughs> we had a bad throw in. Mal sake. You know, it's, uh, it's rare when you see that at this level. You know, he came on early in the first half. Coach probably thinking he can make a change and has not been better. Number 23. Shot from outside of the box, gonna roll out. I'll be on just taking chances here. That effect carried the ball. Almost intercepted there by number 19 for Avion Carl. Carl. Offloading it over to the left hand side. Here comes an opportunity. Evan Stoll almost getting there for the first goal for Albion. It was a good look. They keep knocking on that door. It looks like it's going to be a matter of time before Albion are able to score here. You think so? Yes. Taking it on the wing. Crosses it and it's going to be a corner kick for SD Inter.
Good chance for Eze Inter here on the corner kick. Ball travels to the second post looking for anybody over there, but there's nobody other than the Border Patrol agents down in San Isidro where that ball ended up being. We give a shout out to all of our friendly neighborhood uh, Border Patrol agents. Great customer service. Doing the best that they can do. Randomly selecting individuals whenever they decide to do so. The Muslim make that I'm being there and they're like, you, x-rays. Three hours of border, no importa. Yami ya. Ah, te tocó. Yeah. It happens sometimes, sometimes, you know. You look a little too innocent. No, I was actually laughing at somebody. Still here for SD Inter. <laughs> Here comes an opportunity, and nobody there in the middle to receive that. That's where Sandro received the ball for the first goal. That ball's going to travel up and over. It's going to be a goal kick for Albion SC. But, yeah, no, uh, got randomly selected um, because I was pointing and laughing at somebody who was randomly selected. <laughs> Pero fue Gandaya, the guy that got selected, and then the guy was like, you, come over here. So you laughed? No, I questioned, got angry, but it's fine. Anything to protect our nation. Team's brought to you in part by Torta Johnny. Check out Torta Johnny at your local San Isidro border crossing. Torta Johnny. Seems like Albion has now taken that back foot as the Internacional taking things into their own hands, passing the ball around, managing the pace of this match. That ball getting called for SD Inter. It's going to be a throw in here. It's a reminder for our viewers at home. The entire circumference of the ball must exit the line in order for it to be considered out. There is no goal line technology here at Mission Bay High School. Another mistake here. Now we have certainly had a better second half here than Inter. Back to Evan Stoll. Rubin. Right down Broadway, Main Street. Now here comes Inter putting numbers up front. Comes Rayleigh. A little bit of a struggle there, but the ball travels out. It's going to be thrown in here, but Inter 
trying to find their first goal in the second half, and they're not going to find it that way. If they cross into absolutely nobody. I'll be on looking to put some speed on the wing. Andrew with the pressure there. In Los Puros Gumaros, that control. And here's an opportunity. And that's going to be a goal. That's the hat trick for Luke the Juke Rayleigh. Doing very well here. That's a 5 0 SD Internacional. First goal of the second half, putting that pressure on high up on the field. Gonna have two substitutions, one for SD Inter, one for Albion. Pedrito Godomar subbing on for San Diego Internacional. It's gonna be number 19, Carl, coming off for Does look like Albion. El o Brasileiro Neto. It's coming out. Zuniga still asking for the best minutes of the match for his team. And that indeed is going to be the substitution. Giselo Gilima Neto. Getting the praise from Coach Pal Palatok. A little clappity clappy clap for him. I do apologize for our viewers uh, getting the view obstructed by the Albion tent. As it looks like we got some rain some now. Rain is starting to come in. That's uh, going to be fun driving on the freeway with the spare tire on the rain. Absolutely. As the masses of people and fans are starting to evacuate. As it starts raining sideways. Oh, el perrito. So just an uh, on-air production meeting. I will go back, get the truck, and come up and drive it here, and then we'll pack up, and then you'll put it uh, down. Just be careful on the way down, because it is slippery. Here comes Albion. Getting rejuvenated by the water descending from the heavens. Ren Zuniga putting the pressure on. Ball travels out. It's going to be a throw-in for Este Inter. Internacional. This rain, is, <laughs> this rain is brought to you in part by PB European Imports. Has the rain caused some damage to your vehicle? We know somebody who can help with that. Coach Alex at PB European Imports. Here's a mistake. Almost costing Inter a goal. Not out of the danger zone yet, though. The water's creating slick conditions. Just a reminder that these players do it for the love of the game. Honing them, them, them skills that will hopefully for them pay the bills at some point. Good throw in there. Most analysis that we've been able to give in this second half. Good throw in. <laughs> Taking a peek. 1 0, 61st minutes. USA still up against Mexico in the Nations League. I will say that Albion do at least deserve a goal for the performance here in the second half. It's going to be a matter of them being able to 
find that space find that window yeah absolutely what is that chiva yeah you don't want to start the season not scoring goal at least yeah you don't want to get blanked here Right now, it does seem like Mission Bay High School has better uh, drainage system than Snapdragon Stadium, as here's a one-on-three opportunity. Shot from outside, trying to use the slick surface to their advantage. We're gonna have a couple substitutions here. Andrew comes out, number 17. Calling for their own subs. Castro Bean coming off number 18. <laughs> Castro Bean, a.k.a. the Riz Master. That's what they say. Word on the street. Coming up on what minute, Jiva? 36. We're down to our last 10 minutes of the game. And it looks like uh, Gio Reyna has scored against Mexico. 2-0. The rain continues to pour down here. Hail, almost. <laughs> Santi Jimenez finally comes on. Oh, man. <laughs> Narrating two games at once, guys. <laughs> this one is all but set and done. 5 0 SC Internacional against Albion SC. The first matchup here of UPSL so called South Premier Division action. We've seen this SC Inter team be champions and enter the tournament to be the representatives of the UPSL for the Open Cup tournament. Didn't materialize. Ball travels in the middle. It's going to be a handball, but referee doesn't see it, doesn't call it. Getting away with one there. Here comes Zuniga. Now 
how it's going to be just a business transaction for ST Inter these last 10 minutes, last couple minutes that we have here in the second half. Rain coming down again, Tony. <laughs> this is brought to you in part by Smog Express. You need to redo a smog test according to the state of California. Look no further than Smog Express here in Pacific Beach. Where you'll find all your best smogging needs for your vehicle. Smog Express. That's ask for Coach Alex or Surlo. That's lefty in Spanish. Smog Express. Absolute scenes here. Dolphin dive by Zuniga to head that ball out. Second time he's done that. Standing his ground. That flag's going to go up. It's going to be an offsides. <laughs> right, we're down to four minutes left into this game. Regulation. I don't think the ref will add any more time. Yeah, the referee's probably just as cold as everybody else. Also, probably has to get up tomorrow on a Monday for work. That ball f slips out of the hands. <laughs> the linesman is actually he pointed signal that it's an SD Inter ball, but the center official said, no, we're going to let that play. Tranquilo, Chonchis. Has the one rain cloud just... Goes over to the other side. It looked like to be a foul stump. Hopefully, the player is going to be okay. Oh, para de llover. We'll see how long that lasts. <laughs> Great throw in inside of the box. Evan Stoll getting up and over, and he's going to go ahead and call a penalty for that. Looks like it's going to be called a penalty. Evan Stoll jumping up and over. And this can be the chance to score that goal to open up the account for Albion SC in this 2024 season. We take about number seven, Carl, coming late. Word still being had by the players. Not even, ref. Not even. This could be also Evan Stoll's opportunity to stop a goal penalty kick for the first time. And it's going to be a shot. That's going to be a goal. Albion gets on the board. The boys. Five to one. Albion trying to score a goal per minute in this second half. Oh, my God. 
Don't stop till you get enough, says the goalkeeper for Albion. Almost a stiff arm situation there. Comes Mitch. Couple fouls there, not called on both ends. And we're past the 45 minutes already. Comes a chance here that gets stopped. In the final third by Albion. It'll be interesting, interesting to see if Inter try to put bodies forward. Sierra. Sierra, un friazo aquí in Mission Bay High School. No VAR here. Internet's down, so is the VAR. <laughs> Evan Stoll doing his best goalkeeper voice to say let it go and that's going to be it here at Mission Bay High School SD Internacional with the first victory of the 2024 season this is going to be five for SD Inter one for Albion SC till next time San Diego Punto Football for Johnny and Ace Catch us next time. Bye-bye.